Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Paula. So in today's video, I thought it'd be fun and hopefully helpful if I answered a really burning question that I get asked a ton when it comes to online survey apps. So I talk a lot about online surveys on this channel and one question that I get asked a ton is why am I getting disqualified from surveys? And as someone who has been doing online surveys for almost three years now, I think I know a thing or two about how to navigate the online survey space. That's why I thought to make this video for you guys if you are just getting started with online surveys and for some reason you're not finding success with it or you've been doing it for a while but you keep getting disqualified or kicked out of these surveys, I hope that this video can help you hopefully get over that little hurdle. The first thing I want to mention is that getting disqualified from surveys is as a result of a lot of different things but i'm gonna give you guys some tips in this video to hopefully help you guys if you're having that problem okay my number one like my top favorite survey app which you probably know about if you're not new to my channel but if you are new here my top favorite survey app is adipole i love the app so much i've made over $10,000 with the app. So I can tell you that it's really good. I've been using it for over three years now and it is so, so, so good. And one issue that people find out is that when they start using Atipole and they start taking some surveys on there, the likelihood of you getting disqualified is actually quite high. And as someone who's been using it for three years, I almost never get disqualified from a survey anymore. Now, there is not just Atipole, there is a bunch of other survey apps. I love Atipole because it's super good. I've been using it for so long. And if you are new to Atipole, you can use the code on the screen when you sign up to get it for a bonus. But I also love the app Eureka. It's kind of similar to Atipole, except they do have more ways of cashing out your money. So I recommend that app as well. I also recommend, um, this app called Influence, which is like a video survey app. So instead of it being like actual surveys, where you actually have to like write it down, it's like video surveys where you actually have to talk about a product or a service or a question and you get paid if your video gets approved by the company basically. My very first tip when it comes to getting disqualified from survey and how to stop getting disqualified is to make sure you thoroughly fill out your profile. Now, when you first download an app, most apps are gonna have like the profile survey. They want you to talk about yourself, your personal experience, who you are, and just things about you. And that is important because they use that profile survey to target surveys to you. And yes, they might require some personal information like your date of birth, if, I don't know, your family member number, or if you shop a lot in your house, now, you don't have to like say exactly like personal information. You can exaggerate, um, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's kind of like a steepy road. So I would say try to be as honest as possible. And for some of these questions, they give you the option to skip answering it if you don't feel comfortable doing that, which I highly recommend you do. If you just, if you don't feel comfortable answering a question, just skip it. What's next? What is not going to hurt you at all? My second tip as far as not getting disqualified from some surveys is being truthful, okay? Most of you guys are probably getting disqualified from surveys or getting kicked out of these surveys because you're lying and the survey company can pick up on that during the survey. So for example, let's say you filled out the profile survey and you said that you are an only child. And then you have another survey and you say that you are you have four siblings. Obviously your answers are not consistent across all these surveys, so they're gonna know that something's off. And they want real data, they want real information, they don't want people to just lie on the surveys. If you do want to lie or exaggerate, which I highly don't recommend, I'm not endorsing you guys to lie. I'm not endorsing you guys to do anything. I'm just saying if you do like want to put a different answer than what is true, make sure that it's consistent across every survey. Make sure that you remember what answer you put and that you keep it consistent and you keep up with that lie, okay? It's very easy for you. For example, 
when you first download these app most people will lie about their age and say they're over 18 and then let's say for example you say you were born in the year 2000 and then in a survey they ask you what year you were born and you say 2003 for example that's not consistent they're gonna know you're lying and they're gonna kick you out of the surveys and so that is one tip i have is to be honest but if you do not want to be completely honest if you want to exaggerate exaggerate a little bit make sure that your answer is consistent across all the surveys and across your profile the third thing you're probably doing that's allowing you to get disqualified from the surveys is rushing okay now i would say if a survey says that you like the estimate time to complete it is five minutes and somehow you complete that survey in two minutes you're probably going to get disqualified i'm just saying like they have the little time there has the average it might take you lower but it might take you longer to do it but when it takes you like three minutes shorter to do it then something's off something is off so you want to make sure that you are not rushing through these surveys you want to go ahead and take your time now for most of these surveys i've noticed is that in the middle of the survey they're going to ask you a trick question just to make sure that you are actually paying attention. So one that I usually get a lot is um, which one of these is a color? And then they have like um, banana, orange, apple, whatever. And if you're not reading that carefully, you might put a different answer. And then if you pick like apple as a color, they're gonna end up disqualifying you. So you want to make sure that you are looking through the surveys carefully and you're actually reading through it. Take your time. If a survey says five minute on average, take the required amount of time. You also don't want to go too slow because it's like, what are you doing? Like you're not two years old. Like you're, you're come on. Yeah. You want to keep it at an average pace. You want to go through a couple seconds per page. Don't rush yourself. Take your time. Now some surveys will have like written portions. So you want to make sure that you read through the instructions carefully and you write exactly what they're asking you to write. Very important. This next tip is specifically for Adipole. So if you have the Adipole app, I recommend this tip for you. So on Adipole, beside every single survey, you will see some stars. Now different surveys will have different stars. Now when I first started using Adipole, I did not know what those stars meant, but I researched it and I figured out what it meant. So basically these stars are telling you how likely you are to qualify for each survey based on the information you put in your profile. So for example, in your profile, if you put that you are a student who loves to shop at Apple, they're gonna have a couple surveys that are targeted at that specific interest. Now, how the stars work is that the more stars a survey has next to it, tells you how likely you are to qualify for that survey. So if a survey has a five out of five star, that's telling you that you have a 100% chance of qualifying and not getting kicked out of that survey. But if a survey has, let's say, maybe two stars, the likelihood of you qualifying for that survey and getting kicked out is kind of high. So what I do is that whenever I am in the mood to take surveys on Adipol, I will look through the ones that have at least four stars and up. I go from five stars to four stars to three stars. And then if I'm like, if I'm really, really bored, I will do the two star ones. But I really, I'm telling you, I really do the two star stuff with the Apple. I feel like it's just a waste of time because the likelihood of you getting disqualified is so high. Because these surveys are so vague and they're looking for a specific type of demographic for that survey. And if you don't fit into it, they're going to disqualify you. So to avoid this on Atipole, you want to make sure that you are prioritizing surveys that have four stars, five stars, maybe three stars if that's all you have left. But I would start with five star surveys and then four star surveys and then three star surveys. The next tip I have for you guys is to use someone's referral code. So you can use my referral code right here on the screen, JPUVZ. Now I've heard that when you use someone's referral code, you actually get higher paying surveys. I don't know how true that information is, but 
when you use someone's referral code, you automatically get a referral bonus. So that is a plus of using a referral code. But I've heard that you get higher paying service and I use someone's code. And I think that's the reason why I get really high paying surveys. But also I've been using it for a very long time as well. So that could be a factor as to why I get really high paying surveys. My next tip is to share your referral code, okay? Now this one doesn't really have anything to do with um, not getting disqualified from a survey. But sharing your referral code allows you to make more money. So when you use someone's code or when someone uses your code, you make money and they make money. So both parties in this case make money. So that's why I recommend that if you're struggling to make money with the survey, if you're getting disqualified and you've tried pretty much everything and for some reason you cannot complete a single survey without you getting disqualified or kicked out, which I haven't seen yet, but if that is you, then I recommend just put your full code out there on all of your social medias, your Instagram, your TikTok, your Snapchat, post them on your stories and tell your friends and family to use your code. And when they use your code, you get some money into your account and they also get some money into their account. So that is an amazing way to substitute if you're getting disqualified from surveys. Next tip I have is just to stay consistent. Like, um, you're, you're not gonna meet every single survey requirement that you apply for. Like, but it's very unlikely, okay? I mean, the more you use the app, the more you're gonna, find success with it like I me mean, I've been using it for almost three years now so I'm pretty much a pro at this but if you're a new user of this app you might find it very difficult to stay consistent but I think being consistent being persistent hard work not giving up okay if you get kicked out of a survey don't give up try a different survey try 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 and at some point something will stick it just it just will it has to so yeah and my last and final tip as far as just tips and tricks is to try different apps, okay? Try different apps. I'm gonna put on the screen right now my favorite um, survey apps at the moment, but you don't have to just stick to one. I don't stick to one. I have several, several apps that I use for surveys. I have a lot of them. So I recommend just try different apps. You never know if something works, so you try it. And if you're using Atapol and for some reason you cannot get a single survey without you getting disqualified, try Eureka. Try, you know, Influence. Try Pure Profile. There is a bunch of them. And I'm going to leave a link in my description box to all the ones that I personally use and I personally earn money from down in my description box down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I really do hope that this video helped you out. If you've been going through this for a while, if this is a problem for you, I hope this video gets to the right audience so that I can help someone out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below a black emoji down below if you watched till the end. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.